Well, it's time to help out the Lima Literacy Council. Joining us today from the council to my immediate left, Ken Blanchard, and we have Laura Ball, and they're here to tell us about purse lottery and how you can win beautiful purses that they brought today as an example. So thanks for coming today, you guys. Thanks for having us. Okay, so uh, Ken, this is really important right now because you have mentioned before the pandemic has hurt many things and you think there a lot of people are, you know, really struggling mm. with reading because of that. There's, there's no doubt about it. I mean, people have been struggling with reading for the 18 years I've been doing this. We know that one in six read at about a third grade level or below. And you can just imagine what that does to them, their families, jobs, health, everything. But the, <clears throat> excuse me, the pandemic has really created a chasm in there. Those people, those young adults that were in sophomore, junior, senior in high school that were struggling, remote learning really didn't do them any favors. They are out and they're struggling even more so. And, even, and worse than that, the third and fourth graders that were on the bubble that had to go remote learning, difficult, uh, and we're trying to reach out to them too. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's the important thing, right? Reach out to them, try to help them, and don't let them drop out or get, get you know, disenfranchised with the whole thing, right? Absolutely. When the parents are struggling to help their students do the homework, then the students are going to struggle then too. Um, and in our Spark classes, we have had a lot of people just come in and saying, I have a high school diploma, but it's been 5, 10, 20, 30 years ago. Help me with this. I've, I've forgotten some of the algebra. I've forgotten some of the English. I, I want to help my child. And we are seeing a lot more of them, and we are helping them. Right, yeah. So that, it's such important work because it's it's a trickle down within the family, and I mean, and it, it affects the economy and everything, right, when this happens. It is. It's just it's so wide-ranging. Like I said, from their own health care to their financial situations. I can't imagine trying to read any kind of a legal letter or anything that comes in the mail. Um, Yes, it's so critical that you're able to, capable of, of reading and and comprehending those mm -hmm. things. And that's what we're trying to do. Right, but it can be embarrassing, right? I mean, and oh. some people don't want to come in or don't want to admit it. The hardest part is to get them to the front door. Mm -hmm. Once they actually, you know, get there and say, I have a problem, we can help them. Mm -hmm. It's just... And, a lot of people might know with somebody, but just we need to, to connect the dots so they can get, get come to us. Because when they see, you know, we're here, we have very small classrooms. Uh, with the literacy council, it's one-on-one -on -one tutoring. It's very privately. Um, we meet at, you know, um, at the council or at our literacy council. We meet at the library. We meet di at different places. So it's not being a big red scarlet letter going out. Right. Yes. And yeah. with our classes, we meet at places like Road State College, the library very uplifting places to go, very professional places to go. Mm -hmm. So it makes them feel that they're getting the help that they need. Right. And, and not be embarrassed by it. Exactly. Because yeah. exactly. Exactly. no one yes. knows why they're there. They're right. Just, exactly. You know, it could be a college class they're meeting for. They don't know. Right. So they're getting the help they need. So hopefully people will begin to do that process and how we can help out to make yes. sure you guys have <laughs> enough funding because, you know, this, this cost to get people to, you know, get trained and things like that. Lovely designer purses. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> yes. yes. So let's talk about the purse lottery. This is our, what, 25th year? No, it's the <laughs> fifth or sixth year of doing this. It just seems like 25. <laughs> but um, the designer purse lottery, we only sell 1,000 tickets, 000 through 999. Um, the tickets are $30 a piece. Uh, that's 57 cents a week. They make great gifts, great Mother's Day gifts, Easter gifts, graduation gifts. Guys can buy them for their, uh, you know, wives, daughters, sisters, mothers, mm -hmm. anyone. And women love to buy them for themselves, too. Right, exactly. I was lucky once. I bought a ticket yes, and won yeah. a purse. And, and these are, you must have fun shopping and trying to find these because these are designer purchases. We're oh, talking absolutely. about Michael Kors absolutely. and Coach and stuff. Absolutely. We use Michael Kors. We use Calvin Klein. We use Coach. We use Kate Spade. Mm -hmm. And a couple of Ralph Lauren's. And... I think Ken knows more about purses yes. than he's ever, ever wanted to know. Um, but yes, we do have a lot of fun shopping for him, and we try to find you know colors and styles that will you know be very happy with people I mean, in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and on up you know, to right. win those. So yeah, we do have a lot of fun. But like I said it all goes for a great cause, and who doesn't like a designer purse? Exactly. You know? All right. So hurry up now because the first drawing is May 4th to match the lottery tickets. You guys, thanks for coming today. Thank thanks you very for much. Having us. All right, don't go away. Look at the weather forecast next.